All right, so let's add another feature to our website and that is password confirmation to add an extra layer of security. But before that, let's change a few things. First, I'm going to delete this middleware from the home page and keep it public. Then I'm going to create two new components in our pages folder. First, it's going to be dashboard and then we will have a profile folder because the user profile will have different sections so I will have a dedicated folder but within that folder we will have an edit.view component which will show the profile page so we don't want to actually add anything here but we just want to create the components so we can have different routes so in the edit.view which belongs to our profile I'm just going to say profile then I'm going to copy everything and paste it inside the dashboard and we will just say dashboard like this now let's create two routes for this so in our web.php i can say route inertia and we want to go to forward slash dashboard and the component that is called dashboard now i want to protect this with two middlewares so i can use the middleware function and then pass an array here first we want to make sure the user is authenticated and then it's verified so we can say auth and verified and also name our route and I will call it dashboard and end the statement. Now let's repeat this process and change the URL to profile and the component is gonna be profile forward slash edit. And for the middleware, I just want to say off at the moment. I don't need the verified. So you notice I'm keeping it inside an array because I want to add something else later. But for now, let's just leave it as it is. And for the route name, we say profile.edit. Now let's go to our main.view and we have this drop down menu with the dashboard link that doesn't go anywhere. So we can now use the href and then the route function and the name of the route, so dashboard. Then I'm going to copy this, paste it above the dashboard, just change the route name to profile edit and the text to profile. All right, so back to our website. Now we have three links. One goes to profile, the other one goes to dashboard. And we can access these because we are logged in and verified. Now, remember in the previous video, we had this problem with the intended function in our store method in our authenticate controller. So basically when we logged in, but now we have a dashboard so I can bring that intended back and then pass dashboard if there was no intended place. So I'm going to test this out. I'm going to log out, then log in again. There we have it. We can go to the dashboard. So what we want to implement again is password confirmation. And this is under authentication section of Laravel documentation. And then here we have password confirmation. So if we scroll down a bit, we have the routing section and we need to create a few routes to handle confirm password. So this is again the same process as the previous videos. We just want to create routes, views, and handlers. So first let's create a controller for our confirm password. Again, I'm going to repeat the previous command in the terminal and call our controller confirm password controller. So this is inside the auth folder again, and it's called confirm password controller then we can copy this route from laravel documentation and go back to our project and we can close everything for now and open auth.php and paste that route inside the auth group because it needs to be protected from unauthenticated users i am also going to make some comments so password confirmation and we just have a simple get route that is returning a view there is nothing else so we can just delete this part and use our confirm password controller the method that is going to show that form i would call it create we don't need the middleware so let's delete that and the name is called password.confirm so now let's go to our controller and create our public function create and we just want to again return an inertia render so let's create a confirm password view or component in our auth folder so I can open pages, auth, and create a new document. Call it confirm password.view. Going back to documentation, all we need to do here is to have a form with one field, and that is a password field. So let's grab everything from login view and paste it here. 
and we just delete a few things here we don't need anything except the password we don't have any props let's delete that when we submit the form we want to go to a route which we don't have at the moment so let's delete that and we want to reset the form when it's done but we don't need to pass anything because we have only one field so we can just say reset the form on finish for the title we can say password confirmation for the text i just want to add this text we don't need the title we are just saying this is a secure area please confirm your password that's it and we don't have session messages let's delete that and i think we don't need this comment it's quite clear what that is then we need our form we don't need email or these other fields so let's delete them just keep the password and a button that says confirm all right, so it's a very simple form with one password input field, and we just have to create a route to submit the form through a post request. So back to documentation, we have our second route. We can just copy the whole thing and paste it right here under our first route. So let's cut this function out of here, and we will take it to our confirm password controller. So I'm just going to paste it here so I don't lose it. Back to our auth.php, we have our post route that is going to the same URL as here. We need to use our confirm password controller and a method which I would call it a store. So the handler method would be called store. So we have two middlewares. We can delete one of them and keep the other. And this throttle middleware, like what we have up here, it would just make sure that the user doesn't make too many requests. So the name of the route is going to be the same. So we can copy the name of the route and paste it in our confirm password view component for the route function when we submit the form. Now let's go back to our confirm password and fix this function. We need to add the public keyword and then the name of the function, which we call the store, and then take a look at this function and see what it does. So we are accepting the request and we just have a simple if statement. First, we need to import this hash facade. So make sure it is imported from facades. And there is a check method available on that hash facade. And this one will take the plain password string, the one we get from the form, and as a second argument to compare it with is the hashed value. So we want to grab that from the authenticated user's password, basically from our database. So if this condition fails, so that means we are negating it then we return back with errors and we will show that on the password field that's the only field we have and we just say there is an error but if that is correct we will grab the request object and the session and this method which is available on the session but for some reason vs code doesn't recognize this but it does work so we don't have to do anything here and then again we are using the same intended method so the user will go back to the same page that they try to reach before confirming their password. So that's in terms of just showing a form and handling the request. We can close this and just choose which routes we want to protect. So at the moment, if I want to go to my profile, I will just click on it and nothing stops me. But if we go to web.php, where we have the profile route, we can add another middleware and that is password.confirm. So this middleware tells Laravel that users cannot access this route unless they confirm their password. You notice back in our website, we already have that page. So I can go to dashboard, that's fine. But if I try to go to profile, I need to confirm my password. So if I add something incorrect, of course, that's not going to work. But if I add the correct password, then I'm in. But if I go to the homepage again and go to profile, I don't have to do it again because it is already confirmed in the session and I don't have to do it every time. But if I log out, then log in again, I can go to dashboard. If I try to go to profile, then again, I have to confirm my password. So this would be only for this session that I'm in. And that's all we have to do to add confirm password feature to our website. So if you want to add an extra layer of security to any route you just have to add password confirm middleware to that route and this is just a test here we will create proper controllers for this and the route that we actually want to protect with password is dashboard not profile 
And that is all the authentication features that I wanted to add for this application. In the future videos, we will work on the profile and we will take it from there. So see you at the next one.